You will be 100% shocked at this. It's nearly the Ryder Cup. We're going to go through, at the moment, who's in, who's out, Team Europe, Team USA, and what our picks would be. Imagine Lou Donald going, Hi, Henrik, look, I know you weren't expecting or, this phone call. I, you weren't expecting it, Henrik, I know, but I need you, mate. Get him in there! <laughs> no. Well, that affects everyone else in that dressing room. Oh, we want you to get involved. So let us know who's going to win, for one. Is it Team Europe, Team USA? Who are you supporting? God. I know, I know who we're supporting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, team Europe, by the way. Um, <laughs> Just but, clarify. But, but also, let us know who your picks are. So, first things first, Josh. Let's, because this has changed. Yes. It, it, it never used to be this way for Team Europe. It's always been this way for Team USA. For people who are maybe new to golf, how does qualification work? So, for Team USA, it's dead, dead simple. They just base it off the performance of the players in that year. So the top six players or top six performing players of the year get automatic spots. The captain then chooses six other players. Now, so it's dead easy for the USA. It's always been a little bit different for uh, Team Europe. Previously, it used to be eight players would qualify through a point system, whether it be on the DP World Tour or European Tour and then world rankings based on their PJ Tour. Now, they've changed it. I think they've done the right thing in changing it. 100%. It always used to be a little bit unfair, I think. Uh, yeah, exactly. So, what they've done now is six players will qualify automatically, whether it be in three from world rankings and three from European rankings, and then the captain will again get to choose six players. Right. Which I think is the fairest way of doing it. There's no need for it to be yeah. different. It's, uh, and you might think that, well, if those eight guys qualified previously, they qualified on merit, they deserve to be there. Yes, they do. And I, I understand that. But equally, if, say, for example, Tiger Woods probably isn't going to play this year, but Tiger Woods has not played this year, but all of a sudden he comes back fit, he's guaranteed a pick. Whereas from a European perspective, they only had four picks. Yeah. So, yeah, a lesser known player might have had a great year and got in, but he's never been on that platform. He's never been there. And that's the thing in it. I mean, how many times? I mean, I think I'm going to have to wash my mouth out saying this in terms of Ryder Cup, but um, the postman, Ian Potter, yeah. no one likes him now, apparently, <laughs> in the Ryder Cup squad. Um, <laughs> but he's a guy that came out and said, like, when he's teeing that ball up, it's like, never gets, obviously, always gets nervous. Yeah. But never gets that nervous in the sense of, my hand's shaking it, yeah. teeing it up. And I think if you've never been in that environment before, you mean you heard, like, Toll Hatton say this, Matt Fitzpatrick. It is an intimidating place to be. Absolutely. And, and I'd love to go, by the way. Oh, 100%. I would I would I love would, to be there. Is anybody going, by the way? Like, We'd love to know if you're going. Can like, anyone take us? Yeah, we'll, <laughs> we'll come with you. We'll, we'll hope you can come and host the pod with I'll us. carry your bags. <laughs> yeah. You will bring the pod and we'll, we'll, bring the, we'll bring back nine films and we will be there if you want us to be. Um, the one thing I would say on that is, and where it is different for these guys, is golf is individual you it's you against the golf course yes you are playing against other players but it's you against the golf course all of a sudden you're in a team environment where yes you're worrying about your own game but your game affects other people oh you play live golf you're used to it <laughs> well yeah that's true <laughs> Ian Porter's laughing now get him it? in there but you know what I mean yeah so for these guys all of a sudden there's even more pressure on them because mm. actually hold on if I don't play well that affects everyone else in that dressing room whereas normally it just affects you yeah so yeah it's it is a complete different kettle of fish. So I think the fact that it's six and six now makes it a lot fairer. Okay, before we go through, let's go Team USA first. Before we go through it, who do you think is going to win? Come on, who do you think? So obviously oh, we, would, we, we know who the teams are. Team USA, is, these are the automatic picks that we've got. But yeah. go on, who do you think is going to, um, who do you think is going to win? I'm going to say, I'm going to, oh, it really sounds really bad this. I can't see Europe winning, even though it's on European soil. And what tends to see, you tend to see is like, Obviously, each home team a little bit like cricket. They set up the wicket, set up the set up the course to help them. Yeah. Like uh, when it was at Whistling Straits, they made it a bomber's paradise. Yeah. They could hit it anywhere. What we tend to do is make the rough a little bit thicker, a bit more of a prize on hitting fairways. So it sort of negates that sort of distance aspect. Um. So I'm gonna go Team USA, I think. And do you know what? I, I hate to say it, but the way that they performed last time, the way that the players that we are gonna talk about now are performing. I can't see past them. I think no. they they are just stronger. They're just yeah. a, a a better team at this point. Yeah. Could okay. that all change come pegging it up? Of course it could, but it's gonna take a bit of magic, I think, from yeah. Team Europe, and it's gonna take a few of the USA guys not to perform rather yeah. than I mean 
e- look, equally, Europe have a great team, but yeah. I, I just... Look, the, the, the one thing I look at as well is the performance from last time because a lot of the players are going to be the same and they absolutely chewed us up and spat us out last time. Mm. Yes, it was on their home turf. Yes, they had their fans behind them and there's not going to be that many of them this time. But for me... I just can't see past the... We're going to talk through the players now. Okay, so hit me up. So these are currently the people who are qualified yeah. in red. So automatic qualification. So these are the guys who are absolutely guaranteed. And yeah. only two from Team USA. That's Scotty Scheffler at Wyndham Clark. Like, they will 100% be at the Ryder Cup. But the current people in third all the way to sixth are Brian Harmon, Brooks Kepka, Xander Schauffele, Patrick Cantley. So they're the next four guys who are in the automatic qualification spots right now. So that makes up the what if we ended right now. They're the six guys that would automatically be in. Josh, go through the next six guys in that list. So well, just before we do that, can I just point one thing out here? Mm. Three, mm. I think, three of the guys that are qualifying yeah. are major champions. Yeah, but I mean, we're going to be probably similar on Team Europe there. No, this year. Uh, no. So who, yeah. Wyndham made... Clark, yeah. Yeah. Brian, yo, sugar, Brian, Carman, yeah. Brian Harmon. Brooks Is Kepka. it bad that I forgot Brian Harmon when the... <laughs> <laughs> what, two <laughs> weeks ago? Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So instantly you look at that team and they are just, just strong. Yeah. Like you've got three major winners. We have one straight yeah. away. That, in, for me, puts us on the back foot. Yes, you could argue, well, we've had guys close, Roy McIlroy's close, yes. But Roy McIlroy lives for the moment. He will be brilliant, but he he's one done. man. I and he's not done. got it done this year. Um, so let's look at the, the next six here. And something that is important to point out, I think at this point is, just because these guys are the next six in line doesn't mean they get picked. No, like, I mean, we've seen it in the past where I'm going to say St. Paul Casey was no way near the list, but one year got a pick and people were like, whoa, why? But going back to that whole thing of if you've never been in a Ryder Cup and you've got a team full of rookies in a sense who have never been there, it's always good to have people who have been there, whether that's vice captains, whether that's people in the background, whether that's just people helping out. Also, it just helped when you've been there before in terms 100%. of playing. Like, if you want to think about your pairings when you're doing foursomes or four ball, putting a rookie with a person like, for example, Paul Casey, who's been there round the block, played a lot of times, a lot of experience, won a lot, won a Ryder Cup. Um, it's always better to do that. So it's a good point. I yeah. don't think all these next six will play. No, because that that having that experience, you can help a partner around the golf course. Yeah. Um, so the next six, you've got Max Homer, Cameron Young, Jordan Spieth, Keegan Bradley, Colin Markawa and Ricky Fowler. Who, by the way, Ricky Fowler, this time last year, probably thought he had no chance. Mate, no chance. I mean, based on form, he's probably going to be one of the guys you're going to look at in terms of a pick. He's one of the recent form, winners. Experience. Yeah. He's been there and done it. He's trending upwards. I'll be surprised if he's not there. Yeah, 100%. Same. Like, I'll be more shocked if he's not there than if he is. Yeah, yeah. Players that I from that list that I don't think will be there, I'm going to say I don't think Colin Morikawa goes, which is mad. We're talking about a guy who... Really? Yeah. Really? Why? Because he's not performed that well this year Mm. in comparison. You look at... You're you're talking experience. Yes, he's played in one before, but there's other guys that are more experienced there and just outside that bubble, i.e. Justin Thomas. Okay, so give me your six then. So so You can scroll down a little further if you want. No, I I I want to know what your six are based on that see i think see even you'll go down as far as 19th you've got tony fino yeah. like who is he bombs it he's a great golfer he's won this year good round the team as well good round the, he's been there and done it so my six that i would go with and i think so you're assuming that the top six are already stays picked, the same right? yeah i'm gonna go max homer jordan spieth ricky fowler tony fino mm. and then potentially where i'm stuck is between Thomas and Keegan Bradley. You do realise you've not even mentioned John, uh, Dustin Johnson. How far down the list is he? A long way. He is a long way. Oh my but, god! But it is thirty-seven. It's captain's pick, isn't it? Okay, so they're yours, right? Oh so they're your picks. I forgot about him. So I'll just load him into a four-ten. Terrible, terrible for me. You're gonna get slayed in the comments for those picks, mate. So who do you take out then? 
Do you not put the, okay, okay? I don't put me, J, I put DJ mine. in, not JT. No, no, you've done it now. You've done it now. This would be this would be mine. So I'd go Homer Young, so Max Homer, Cameron Young, really? Jordan Spieth. That I'd go those. Three. So they're go, the next. Three. I'd go the next three, just purely and simply because if you look at over a season, those guys are being the next three consistent, right? Yeah. Then I would go Dustin Johnson. Right. Again, that experience factor. If you Big go to time. the top, you've got even though we're talking about Scotty Scheffler, he's never played in a Ryder Cup. Did he not play last year? Uh, the last one? No, I'm Did pretty he sure not? he didn't play. I'm pretty sure this all ha- is, is is what put his it rise say. was after that. Yeah, Brian Harmon never been there. No. Okay, so you got these two of your top players, Wyndham Clark, never, never been, been there. there. Three. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going oh, Dustin Johnson. Yeah, good shout. Jordan Spieth. Yeah. Okay. You say no. Oh, so sorry. you said Homer so, Young and you, Spieth. So just recap here: Homer Young, Spieth, Dustin Johnson. Yeah. Ricky Fowler. Yeah. Phil Mickelson. Get him in there! <laughs> no. Um, uh, Justin Thomas. That's that's how I'd make it up. So you and, you've so you question me on not having Morikawa, but you've not picked him. No, no. And I just think, again, you mentioned this. Ricky Fowler, a bit of experience. Justin Thomas. I know he's in bad form, but I think I said this on our podcast. I think he makes the playoffs. I yeah. think I think he then turns the corner, finishes the season strong. And what better way to have a player with experience, been there, done it, and be on the winning team, yeah. who's actually getting into a bit of form? Yeah, and and in him doing that, he then makes it hard Mate, to not get. I picked. even think if he's not in form, he should be picked purely and simply because. He is a golfer that he just takes a little bit of a spark. It might just be a bit of match play where it's not stroke play. You know you can rely on him. And you look at the relationship that he has with Spieth and Fowler. That's the kind of thing you want around the, around oh, the dressing room. Oh, 100%. Room, so. 100%. Okay, so what? let us know down in the comments. I can't believe I forgot Justin Johnson. Horrendous picks. <laughs> oh, not <gosh>. educated. <laughs> <laughs> um, let us know what you think of our picks and our teams of Team USA. Obviously, we're saying Team USA are going to be the winners. But now let's go through... Team Europe. So we're going to go through the European DP World Tour standings and then the world standings. Who are the six at the minute? And by the way, this is important to know. There's nobody who's definitely going to play right now. No. Based on the numbers. So well, I think there is, but there isn't. Yeah, there is, but there isn't. Yeah. Unlike um, Wyndham Clark and Scotty Scheffler, they yeah. were guaranteed. So this list is from the European points list. So bear in mind when we go through this, there are some names that are going to be below who are automatically qualified on different lists. Yeah, and okay. we'll explain that as we, as we go you'll see that crossover with the world points. Yeah. So European so, points first. Rory McIlroy, John Ram, and Robert McIntyre are the three at the minute at automatic picks. Yeah, and I think you, you would have those three in there. McIlroy is a no-brainer, so is John Ram. I, mean, I think those speak for themselves. It's then when you get to the players just below them that, Maybe some of them you're a bit like, oh. I mean, have you heard of Yannick, you Paul Yannick? Yeah, no, I've not. Yannick Adrian Moronk, I've heard of him. Obviously, yep. I've heard of Tommy Fleetwood, Victor yep. Perez, Rasmus Hogard. There's a lot of uh, inexperience at Adrian Utegi on the periphery, yep. Shane Lowry, Terrell Hatton. But these are based, this is where it's a bit different to the American system because these are just based on European point list. So, who, Josh, are the other three on the world points list? Now, as you look at this list, you can see John Ram and Rory McElroy are above. But the next three after them who will be automatically qualified are Victor Hovland, Tyrrell Hatton, and Tommy Fleetwood. Yeah. And I think, again, we would look at that and go, those guys are definitely in regardless. Yeah. Um, so, nothing there surprises you, no. I don't think. I think. Those all those guys, Robert McIntyre maybe being the one that you could replace, but all those guys are going to be oh, guaranteed. And no, but what, oh, I, what I mean like that is you look oh, at you look at the players. That is that, horrible, mate. That no, is horrible. It's not though, is it? Because you look at the players that aren't in so those qualifying lists. You look at the players that aren't in the qualifying list. Matt Fitzpatrick isn't in the qualifying list. No. Okay. So you you could easily very very easily replace Robert McIntyre with yeah. Matt Fitzpatrick. It takes a good couple of weeks and he's probably going to jump him. Exactly. But that's not me saying Robert McIntyre is not going to be in there because he will be in there. Matt Fitzpatrick is going to be in there. Okay, so let's clarify this. The automatic picks as they stand are yeah. Victor Hovland, Tyrrell Hatton, Tommy Fleetwood, yep. Rory McIlroy, uh, John Ram, and um, Robert McIntyre. Robert, Robert McIntyre. I just forgot yes. his name. Just slated Oh, him. yeah, you're giving me <laughs> it. So I'm going to say this right now. Obviously, there's two lists which you've just seen. If I was the captain, I'd be picking personally the next bit from the world points list. Because these are the guys who play a more international circuit, probably played in the majors, and it sounds bad, but they're exposed to the Americans more often at a higher level of golf than we yep. see on the DP World Tour. I know that might not go down well with some people, but yeah, I think that's just how it is. Yeah, and I, and I agree. And I think 
if we're going to talk about picks wise, Matt Fitzpatrick definitely goes. Okay. Shane Lowry definitely goes. Okay. Um, this is now where I think you potentially, um, sorry, Sepp Stracker, I think definitely goes. There you three so far. Yeah, purely because of his finishing the open. He's up there in the world points list. He plays out on the PGA So you've got the next three there, haven't you? Six, seven, yeah. eight. Um, do you look for experience? Exactly. Pretty much exactly. Where's Polter? Where's Westwood? I <laughs> Where's need Casey? them. I need them. <laughs> do you look for experience or do you look for young sort of go on, just come on. Tell us who you're going to go with. I think Alex Noren goes. Okay. Purely so because experience. he's been there and done it. So there's four. I think people might sleep me for this, but I think Justin Rose goes. Ooh, okay. And the reason I think Justin Rose goes is because you haven't got Poulter, you haven't got Westwood, and he's been there and done it with those guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna agree with you. I'm gonna agree. Yeah. The third one, oh, God knows. <laughs> um, sorry, well, the sixth one, I say, God Go knows. Scroll on. I mean, there's I more mean, people on this list here. Thomas Dietrich. You've got Danny Willett there. He's one that again, Masters champion. Him, can't pick him. Too far down. Is he? Too, but why? I just. I, I, he's I, done I it. Just, he's been there, oh, done it before. No, not for me. Okay, that's fine. But if Poulter and Westwood were not over Liv, would you have them? Dummy. You would, wouldn't you? Dummy. So there's no reason why you wouldn't me. have Danny Willett. Go on. So you, you, who's your final one going to be? You're going to go Danny Willett? Yeah, yes. Okay, so you're going Danny I'll Willett. i Danny Willett. So just clarify your six picks for me there. Mm-hmm. So you went you went Seb Stracker, I think. Seb, Seb Stracker, Shane Matt, Lowry, Matt Justin Rose, Matt Fitzpatrick, Danny Willett. Alex Norrin. Alex Norrin. Okay, so I'm going to go Matt Fitzpatrick, Seb Stracker, Shane Lowry. I'm going to go Alex Norrin. So I've gone four the same here. I'm going to go Justin Rose. <laughs> Five the same. Yeah. You're not going to say Henrik Stenson. <laughs> no way. No way is Henrik Stenson going to go, oh, do you know what? Yeah, I can't be captain, but I can play. Mate, they need some experience in there. I know they do. And he can play. I, I, I know. I agree. But imagine Luke Donald going, uh, <clears throat> hi, Henrik. Look, I know you weren't expecting or, this phone call. I, what, you weren't expecting it, Henrik. I know, but I need you, mate. No, He'd be I'm, like, are you having a laugh? I'm joking with that one. You're I'm, not. I'm going Project Harrington. <laughs> That's a shout. I don't think he'll get... Oh, mate, he's been go. playing well on the Seniors Tour. The Seniors Tour. Right, oh, there you go. I'm going Project Harrington. I like it. I like your thinking, but I think, I think Danny Williams has got more of a chance. Okay, guys, they are our picks.